Okay, this is going to be a quick little uh, mac and cheese dish that we kind of came up with the other day. Uh, something we were going to hurry and had some stuff laying around. So I got some frozen turkey. You can use frozen beef, that'd be fine too. Uh, we're just going to turn that up to medium. But uh, I did get a ch an onion, just, just a quick chop. And we're just going to throw that in there like that. Put the lid on and let that get clicking. About a medium, you know, anywhere between a five and a six. Let that get clicking while we come over here and do something else. Okay. All right. So in addition to the vegetable, to the meat. Now you can do it without the meat. Just do a veggie one. But we're going to do uh, throw some vegetables in with it. You can use zucchini, any kind of a squash. I've got a little yellow squash here. Just going to chop that up real quick. Obviously, uh, I like the number one cone. It's going to slice up nice and fine. You can use the number two cone as well, which obviously is going to be a little thicker chop. But this is going to be. Really, really good. Okay, so this has been on medium uh, for a while. It actually started to to bounce pretty good, you know, do the little clicking thing. So I, I actually started it once to kind of mix the onions and the meat up a little bit, put the lid back on, and just went about my business. Come back, you can see it's looking pretty good. The meat's looking nice and brown and ready to go. Onions are cooked in there, so that's good. I've still got it on medium. Now I need to go ahead and add uh, some of my vegetables. Now this is a four quart saucepan. So I gotta be careful how full I get it. So I'm probably gonna use about half the vegetables, like that. I'm gonna put a can of uh, just some cream of chicken soup that I had laying around and pour that in there. Now I'm gonna add some other seasonings here in a minute that I found that uh, we really, really like. It gives it a really good flavor as well. Okay, so that's that. And I'm gonna pour some water in there because we are making uh, some noodles. Might need a little bit more water. Pop right over here, Shar. Okay, so I've also got some milk. Again, for the for the mac and cheese, I'm gonna put enough of that in there to get everything uh, nice and covered. I might need to add some more water in a minute. And the seasonings. You grab the seasonings. <laughs> So the seasonings, this is something I found is really, really good. Uh, it just takes about a spoonful. It is a little spicy, uh, so watch out for the little kids. But one spoonful does a really good job of seasoning that up. And then I also go ahead and, and like to add about the same amount of, uh, of garlic, or uh, sorry, Italian seasoning, just any Italian seasoning like that. And then we're gonna grab the cheese what I've got here is about a half a cup of um, Parmesan, uh, about a half a cup of Havarti cheese, and then about a cup of a uh, Monterey Jack cheddar cheese, like that. All right? All right, so we're going to grab the noodles here, <clears throat> pop them in, just like that, just one bag of noodles, give it a good little stir, make sure everything is mixed up especially that the noodles are covered and mixed down in there. All right, you can see we're pretty full there. So I probably don't need any more liquid. My liquid content is probably pretty good. Now you've probably had experiences with the, in a situation like this where something will boil over and make a little bit of a mess. And the nice thing about that is we've got it on medium. Now it's already fairly warm, but I did add some cold milk and some cool water, so we're going to have to bring that temperature back up. So since we've already had most things cooking, I am just going to turn it down a little bit low. Once this is clicking really nice, I might even pop the lid, stir it again, lid on, turn it to low, and set the timer for 15 minutes and it'll be done. It's a great, great mac and cheese meal. We'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright, so there it is all done and ready to go. Um, it's, it's actually very, very tasty, so I hope you guys try it. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, let me know.